it's awesome. You know, it's it's cool to be able to work with someone that you know you appreciate before anything. You know, there's so many people that you really wait until it's you can't tell them how much you appreciate them. And this song I was doing way before anything ever happened. So I just think you know God's timing is always perfect and. It was good that I worked with him when I did, so I'm so excited, and he's so stoked for this record to come out. It's going to be cool. I think everyone's going to like the new version. It's awesome. What, what were your responses to that, and what, what did Brett say about it? Same as Brett. Brett was like, forget, like, who cares? Like, people honestly, the thing is, is this is what we all, what me and Brett were talking about this morning. And it's funny, like, negative stuff always comes out right when someone's got a record or a movie. It's because there's so much positivity. People want to knock down the people that are finally, you know, saying it up, like, you know, everyone wants to take the big shot down. And so it's like, whatever. It's like, you know, you're so happy about music. We make music because we love it, not for anyone else's approval. So whoever didn't like it, sorry. And so it's anytime that anyone is growing up, I think more than, I have like separation anxiety sometimes. Like, oh my God, I can't believe like I'm not going back to that show. But I think more than me, other people do. And, you know, people always ask me if I'm worried about my fans not following along, and I'm not. It's not the fans that are that are always freaking out. It's like, you know, people that make money off of negative. Grants, we were just talking about it actually upstairs because people were like, you've never seen that show? And my mom and dad literally allow like 10 channels. We don't have anything. We don't, because I have a little sister too, so they don't let her watch a lot of stuff. So we have like no channels. So we don't really get to see anything that's about gossip or what's going on. And so, and I never really take the time to go buy any of that. So I never really know. Um, and I think it has to do a lot with us not really being allowed to watch a ton of TV because you don't really know what's going on or what people say about you. And you're, you're also doing the acting as well. You're working on a film with Demi Moore? Yeah, this summer I'm super excited. I, I, I'm, I think you know, that's kind of the best way that I like to spend my summer is I work so hard throughout the year with music and going on tour and always traveling. So when I'm actually in one place for a few months filming, it's nice because you get, you get to be almost like a family with people you work with. You can tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's originally, it's, um, it was originally a French film, and we're remaking it, um, and I think it's going to be cool because, you know, I, I love the French version, so I think it's nice that we can be able to share this with, you know, teenagers, and I think it's good. It's like a little bit of a wake-up call, I think, for moms and, and daughters that me and my mom are so close, and, um, you know, they, you know, kind of start going as the mom to me is going through this, like, midlife crisis. It's, uh, you know, I'm growing up. It's Lola's growing up, and they're kind of going through the same situation and you know the mom's yelling at her and she's mad at her mom because she's like you're not a teenager anymore but it just shows how alike they are and they have to uh, kind of work that out and you know find who they are with each other. Wow. Connection. I don't know if you know Christian Stewart listened to your music to get into Bella's character. I think that's awesome. I'm obviously I'm not like a Twilight Twilighter. I've never seen Twilight so You haven't seen him? No. I've seen like, Are you kidding no, me? No, I've never seen it. So I, I'm not that him. like I'm not that girl. But I love Kristen Stewart and so I'm a huge fan. I watch her and I'm obsessed with Joan Jett, obviously, so I loved her in the runaways. So when I actually I did read that she loved the climb and I was like, That's awesome because I'm obsessed you got with you. Kristen Stewart. So I, I just read her any day of the week. I I confess I just rented them a week ago. I watched both of them. I'm addicted. You like Twilight? I'm a I'm, I have to admit it. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. I'm telling you. I, I, You're I, not a 16-year-old girl. I'm, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> but I like werewolves. I, I like vampires. I was on tour when I forgot which Twilight came out. And I have never, I literally was just like, forget You'll love it. it. I was like, I'm not even trying to go into theater to watch something you else. You like it. It's crazy. I mean, one of the L.A. New York trips, just rent it. Maybe I'll in. like on the plane or something. Yeah. I'll try. Next time I see you, if you're a fan. Vampires aren't my thing. I'm more for like, I don't know. Vampire, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>